Hello everybody, Rebus here, welcoming you to Monster Prom. I, uh, yes, I ended up getting this game, uh, it was sent to me. Voice interjections, yay or nay? Awesome voice effects, make your own voices. I want to hear what the voices sound like, I'm curious. How many of you are there? This is a multiplayer? No, it's just us. Uh, let's do a short game, why not? Ah, spooky high school. The sweetest years of our lives. Back then we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Oh gosh, who do I want to be? Oh, this guy looks kind of cool. I don't know about that, you know... Let's go this guy. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. Don't care. We had yet to experience its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left as we fantasized about our dream prom dates. We all scrambled to catch the attention of one of our... Oh, okay. So, Miranda Vanderbilt, a sweet mermaid princess... Damien LaVey, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and love of fire. Scott Howell, a werewolf athlete who compensates for his rather small brain with a huge heart. Liam de Loincourt, a hipster vampire. Okay. Poltergeist, a party ghost with insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. And Vera Oberlin, a self-made gorgon. It was clear it had to be one of them, but who? We only have three weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we only have three weeks to woo them and conquer their hearts. We're young and unafraid. Um, hmm. Stupidest pop quiz ever. All minds are rotten, but they rot in so many different ways. We're using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna do like a little quiz thing. Alright, alright. Wait, each of you uh, stats reflect your true selves. Let's start. Oh, God. This is a great question right here. And I'm curious what you guys would pick. If you had to have sex with an animal, which animal would it be? A swan. They're classy, plus it reminds me of the myth of Lita and the swan. A human being, because I'm kind of... Uh, a great white shark. I'll go with the swan. One. What is your spirit emoji? Snowman. Blizzard is eh, smiling. Octopus. Best animal on earth. I know. Five mixed drinks. Three drug cocktails. Okay. I'm going with the octopus. I like that. What would be a deal breaker for a potential lover? Um... Deal breaker. Let's go with boring. I'm not sure if that gave me more points towards that chick or if it like hurt my chances with her. Um, sure. So I am creative. I have actually decent. I actually have decent stats. Wait, what does this do? All right, so we got week one. Oh, and I can make money going there. I can have fun going there. I can. Learn Steve. I don't think I need to buy anything right now. I think I'm more or less. What would be best? Charm. Let's go basketball. An epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural born leader. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I want more charm. You spot Vera and Polly discussing something. You've gotten in on the conversation. Hey, hey, hey. Are you going to the party tonight at the Dale Mummy's Crypt? So his parents are being some pure energy for the weekend. He's got the entire place. So Scott's going to be there too. And I totally want to spike his drink. Oh. Seeing something fun like shrooms. What do you think we should put in your drink? 
Here's the flower that makes a person fall in love with the first thing they see. You can make them fall in love with the chair or a house plant. I want to go with the moon root. Yes, there we go. And that makes people look like wolves too, so I'll use that and he'll be like a double wolf. Yeah, a monster Snapchat pick. Okay, a vicious beast in an unsuspecting party. You gain two fun and one boldness. Okay. This is not hard at all. I mean, this is kind of the short mode. Who do I want to sit with? I don't really want to sit with Tony the Tiger. That girl looks annoying. Cat girl's okay. Let's sit. You know what? Let's sit here. We find Polly and Liam not eating as usual because they're undead. Food is really trash. It's in, hardly even worthy of my Instagram. Is, we can do so much better than subpar culinary. That's what you mean. The two of us should have a cook-off. I'm not listening because I'm so psyched about this cook-off. At what point did... I've got a huge advantage though because I cook so many drugs. Hmm. Oh, you think you've got advantage, huh? I've been alive for centuries. The two of them dash to the kitchen ignoring all rules of law, school, and common decency. The two celebrity chef judges appear to critique the challengers. They're both equally horrible, says the cruel British judge. I think they're... Both equally marvelous, says the overly nice British judge. What do you think, tiebreaker judge? I'm gonna say Polly's, because I like her. What isn't even food? The pile of yarn you need in a frying pan. Oh my gosh, I she is so ditzy. This is amazing. So I thought, I'll catch you later, I gotta go Cat. Later you run into Polly again and she let you pet her kitty, if you know what we mean. It means they get to pet the cat, she has pajamas on. Oh my gosh. Alright. Um, sure. So she kind of seems to like... Boldness... And fun. Which, fun is there, boldness is here. Let's go to the bathrooms. Watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You gain plus zero shits and two boldness. She's usually hella good at... On hell. Okay. I was yelling at the party last night, you know, because of the ecto-cocaine, but then I realized... Really, really long time, you know what I mean? What if I run out of stuff to do with aliens take over and they ban partying? How am I ever going to stay hyped for eternity? Um, meth. Why not? They can't kill me, I'm already dead. Oh my gosh. Polly's good mood almost makes the pun worth it. You gain plus two fun and plus one boldness. Still gaining that boldness. Um, sure. All right. I kind of want to see what happens if I go to the here. Doesn't sound very nice, but who's really want to blame? Okay. You lose 10 karma, which isn't a stat, but you gain two money. Oh, it's her again. You know, I, I wasn't always a ghost. Hear me out. I used to be alive, but I died with unfinished business. Okay. Guess I can tell you, I never did a reverse Romanian Wilkinson. Okay. Oh. Oh gosh. So I completely failed that one. If you excuse me, I've gone. Okay. Ah. I lost a little bit of smarts and I lost a little bit of fun. Very disappointing. Sure. I'll still go try to sit with her. Why not? They are flanked by two hobgoblins in security. 
They're food guards. So he assigned guards to us because he thinks we have an eating disorder. Except it's not an eating disorder, it's an identity and lifestyle. The point is that we don't won't let us leave until we've eaten our food, which will be never. And I have a meeting of the Smug Superior Club conduct next period. I can't be late. If you could just figure out a way to food around these food guards for us. Alright, time to enact your feverishly. You empty Polly's food onto Liam's plate and then on his lap. I can't even artfully arrange it for a decent food pick. Seem to have eaten? Okay, I like her. Pop goblets are complete idiots. They instantly believe Polly's lie. <laughs> I like her. She is so weird. Alright, so I kind of like, uh, I assume she likes me a little bit more. Sure. Uh, let's go to the library. Good old cocaine. I don't have enough money. Remember these used to be cool, now they aren't, but they're ridiculous. I think... Uh... I'm gonna go with the stupid glasses, why not? Alright, week three. Um, sure. Let's... Let's try more fun. But at one point there are like 300 people, someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension, the consequences might distort the fabric of reality, who cares? Is she gonna show up? She usually looks happier. Let's just check on the information. Like, I'm not gonna spend my time as a high school student. Okay, good. Some pamphlets, and I'm looking at the pros and cons of each. I mean, this could affect the rest of my afterlife. Do you know anyone who... A soft... Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, I completely screwed that up. I'm going to con okay. Managed to bore Polly. Oh gosh. Well, oh, I screwed up. I need to get some charm. Holy crap. Um, sure. You take your seat, and if you didn't know any better, you would say that it seems like Vera and Polly are almost interested in their friends than are you. You do know better, and you know that, yes, that is exact. It's just that Polly and I are very engrossed. Okay. It's pretty hard to comp compete with some guy whose fetish is buying you anything you want, and that's mine. People buy things for me. Good thing he's rich. I don't know what they say, true friendship is ser- Okay. Still, I do worry that arrangements might not be sustainable. What happens if he runs out of money? Our cash flow instantly stops besides being handed everything you want on a platter. It's almost boring. If we could somehow turn this business into a venture, it might be interesting. We can continue profit. Okay. I think business actually is. Since he's so obsessed with us, he could just tell him to do something totally insane. Hmm. So she wants chaos. Tell him to marry a llama. It wasn't a wedding, it was a bar mitzvah. All right. All right, he's typing. Green, you'll never believe this. It turns out I'm actually talking to a llama for a few months. Oh my gosh. He knows. Oh my gosh. She's taking a sure sign to be brave and commit to a llama. Oh my gosh. She's heading to get married to it? Of course, he says, I'll to take okay. It's in the sweetest love story I ever heard. I'm so glad this happened together. Alright. I think I need to go with the charming one just to, you know. 
sure. have any sort of semblance, I guess. All right. Uh, so we got this again. Uh, did you hear they finally invented a tattoo gun that works on? Okay. Of course you do. What are you responsible? All right. So we're getting tattoos that spell party. And knuckle tattoo is obviously longer than three letters. All right. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's see what's going on with green. We will ask Polly and see if anything happens. Finally pluck up the courage and has to go to the prom. Oh, well, would be a night to remember if I wasn't going to get so drunk. Okay. We had some good old Aya Huska cupcakes to make sure a date would be crazy as possible. They spent all night dancing. In reality, you got in the middle of the desert dancing with three wizard hobos. What? Okay, so apparently I got some stuff. Three weeks after Monster Prom, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning who we are. You know what? Life happened, it was wonderful. Polly graduated, doing lots of ahuska, and she appears to people who lose things to act as their spirit animal. Miranda started a nonprofit. I don't even think I talked to Miranda. Vera built the Uberlin Empire. Okay. Uh, it seemed bigger than life. It was gone just like that. But once again, we were young and afraid. We were ready to start. All right, so did anything else happen? All right. Um, so that was Monster Prom. That was kind of a weird... I'll be honest, that was a weird game. I liked it. It was very short. And... I mean, it's very basically a visual novel, but it was interesting. Um, if you guys do want to see more of it, uh, you can check it out on Steam. Or we could play more if there's definitely some interest. But leave a comment, leave a like, leave a subscribe. Until next time, guys, this is Reba saying, I'll catch you later.